It has long been a fantasy of folks who fish to own a boat that they themselves design, a boat that contains every single item they want on it. Well, there's a boat manufacturing company in Elk River, Minnesota, that is making that fantasy become a reality. This is the start of the boat. This is the first stage of the boat. It actually gets to this stage in almost a, a, about nine hours. And you have a checklist here, and then you just kind of go down the this list tells and put all, it all, the all parts, together? All the parts that go in this boat. Lake Assault Boats custom builds your boat exactly the way you want it. There are no assembly lines at Lake Assault Boats. This gives you really an idea of what the, the structure of the boat is underneath everything. Exactly. You don't have any wood in here, do you? No, there's no wood and there's no... They will get flotation foam. It's a requirement for the Coast Guard. Your watercraft, regardless of size, gets the attention it needs from start to finish. To be the boat of your dreams, not someone else's. You don't use carpet, do you? Uh, no, we, we have offered carpet for... The five years we've been in business, and we, you know, we've never sold any. And it's, is that what this no foo foo means? That has a lot to do with that, and and you know, the, the no foo foo is is kind of a big deal. But and people catch on, and people people say, "What's no foo foo? What's no foo foo?" And I said, "Look at the boat. Just take your time. Look at the boat." And they always get it. Squad fifty one. Squad fifty one. Innovation steps to the forefront at Lake Assault Boats. Their fire and rescue boats are the top of the line and custom made for each individual fire department and each individual rescue squad in the world. Different departments have different needs and different, whether river, lakes, this one's going to the ocean. Uh, so they have different needs and different requirements. And, and we can, and that's what we do. We build them one at a time and build them custom for that department. The uses for the fire and rescue squads are unlimited. In the case of the Long Lake Volunteer Fire Department, whose area includes the islands and shore areas of Lake Minnetonka near Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota, there was a definite need. Does this boat make it easier for you to do the rescue? Oh, immensely. I mean, we usually try to get a crew of at least four guys. You know, this thing we can haul up to like six, you know, safely. You know, with turnout gear, air packs, whatever we got to, you know, roll with and stuff. And like I said, we got extra hose. I mean, when you go out to further away things, they can't get trucks and you got to bring it with you. So that's where you need something, you know, capable of doing it. You know, that's what these boats are built for. As we're coming into the fire, we can go with the more direct nozzle. And then when the closer we get, we can pan out to kind of drown it. So. Before this, we had a little 16-foot boat, and we'd get down on the river to stretch booms for uh, fuel leaks or those kinds of things, and it really wasn't enough to safely maneuver our people. And so we went to this boat, um, provides us a much safer platform to work off of. It also has a 350-gallon-a-minute pump so that we can provide water supply to our land-based operations. We have a lot of lake homes in Eden Prairie. Can you service the truck that's that's going to a fire? Like In other words, if one of these cabins catches fire, you can go right there, and you have holes that you can take out there? Exactly, right. So we can attack the fire from the back side of the structure while our land-based units make the attack from the front. How about rescue with this boat? Same thing, uh, it provides an excellent rescue platform. We have the drop-down gate in the front, and we also have these two side doors that have swim ladders, so we can put our people in the water and then easily get people out of the water who are in distress. At Lake Assault Boats, they continue to improve each model. For example, the fire and rescue boats can be custom made to help double the water output by offering not one, but two pumps for those who desire more coverage. In many cases, a lake assault fire and rescue boat will be closer to a fire on the lake or river than a land fire unit. Or it can be used to support land fire crews with hundreds of feet of fire hose that feeds water from a pump that'll shoot 600 gallons of water per minute. To put it in perspective, that's about 80 bathtubs of water a minute. Now, can you attach a hose to this? You can attach a hose to this, but we also have another outlet on the pump. We can put up a, another they have hose lockers on here for a thousand feet of hose. Yeah, because you'd, if you wanted to be mobile with it, you want to be able to. You can feed hose. Yeah. You know, you can fill a tanker from you know on a remote area. They can fill a tanker with this pump because it's feeding right off the bottom of the lake. The water is drawn from the lake or river through screened intakes located on the stern of the boat. The flat bow of the boat can be lowered for quick loading and unloading, and can carry up to eight firemen 
and two all-terrain vehicles that can be driven onto the boat. We have the same safety latch system as on the front, and then we take it out, and it unfolds. You don't see this every day. Well, people say you can't put it, you know, people say you can't have a hole in the side of the boat. And, you know. Well, you can, but will it float? Um, yeah, sure it floats, and, it's, and the reason is that all these doors are above the, way above the water line. During rescue efforts, the lake assault boats also feature side doors that offer easy access to the water. The bow ramp is also there for the rescue efforts. And if you're a diver or swimmer, you can grab the rails to get up, help you up. The fire and rescue boats are surprisingly mobile, as well as agile in the water. Because of a specially designed V-hull, they have outstanding maneuverability despite their size. It doesn't look like it would be versatile, but I can see with that V-hull it would be. It's a very smooth riding, high performance V-hull. We built a, a 30 foot landing craft that'll go 60 miles an hour and it'll handle like a, any high performance bass boat. There, it's an amazing, it's an amazing uh, boat. It's difficult to ever use price as an issue when it comes to risking loss of human life. If a lake assault fire and rescue boat is closer to a fire than a land unit, it's then that you ask yourself, what is it worth if we can save just one life? Firefighters have it tough enough, let alone, you know, if, if they don't have the proper equipment, they're not going to do a good job. Their lives are in danger as well as everyone else, right? Exactly. So it's, it's some of the, when you go to some of these fire stations, you see what they have to use. And you say, boy, they're risking their life to, to, to save others. You have to give credit to these guys. It's really amazing what they do. And, you know, you think about it, and you think, boy, they deserve the best. They deal with uh, life and death every day, you know, hour, every hour sometimes. And you think, boy, they deserve the best equipment they can get, even if they only have to use it once a year, or once every five years even. Lake Assault Fire and Rescue Boats are available in length from 21 to 36 feet. For more information, you can contact Jerry Atherton, the president of Lake Assault Boats, at 763-633-0766. Or on the web, it's www.lakeassault.com.